Once the palletizer is installed and set, it is time now to program your first uh, palletizer node. So uh, here, it's very simple. You start with an empty program. Then in the program tree, you will click on your caps, then palletizer, and it will generate the node. Uh, before starting, it's very important to have the right measurements for your boxes. So uh, the, the software will ask you to enter dimension A, dimension B, and dimension C. Dimension C is easy. That's the height of our box. This time it's going to be 32 centimeters. A and B, it will depend on the position of this connector. You see the way my gripper is going to be aligned on the box. This means that the long side will be A in this case. So A for us, it will be 29 centimeters and B will be 23 centimeters. Now that the palette is known as being created, we need to edit those three steps. So box, then palette, then pattern. Starting with box, we already measured. Um, so A was 29 centimeters or 290 millimeters. B, it's going to be 23 centimeters or 230 mils. And C is going to be uh, 320 millimeters. Payload of this box is two kilos. And we need now to set the grip position. So um, first thing I usually do is I go into the active drive and select SCARA mode. Because you're never too sure if the conveyor and the base of the, the palletizer are strictly aligned. So what I usually do is I go and I align with the side of the box, just like so. So if there's any angle around the Z-axis, we can compensate for that. You need to make sure your box is in the right position, of course. So once it's good, I go into translation mode. So now the Z-axis rotation is locked, so I, I will just keep that value. What's left to do is to center the gripper on the box. Best way to do it is with the tape measure. So with the tape measure on top, I align in both directions. So be best way to do it is to grab the tool like that. It's free because it's in active drive mode. And then I go down, I align, make sure I have the same distance on both sides. Seems good. And I do the same thing on the other side. So that's pretty much it. So now that it's in position, I will click on stop to lock it in place. Now that I am happy with the position, actually. Yeah. Yeah, seems fine. And then I will go into the move tab and just down a little bit the the TCP position to ensure we have a little bit of pressure on the suction cups. So here we go. You don't need more than that. So once it's done, you can go in your palletizer node and edit the node. So um, we've set the box attributes, the payload, and the grip position. And you can see at the bottom of the screen, the pedestal height is set to a meter, a 1.3 meters. Now we're up to the pallet section. This time we're going to palletize on the right only, and you have your dimensions here. And finally, the pallet pattern. You see, there's two different patterns that you can use, and you can edit the number of layers. Let's do three this time, as well as the layer sequence. So let's do A, B, and A. And after, you simply have to bring your box where you need them to create the pattern of your choice.
So as you can see, it can take a while to create your pattern, but I have a neat trick for you. Use the movement step uh, field. So we, we know that the B dimension of our box is 230 mils. So let's use that to our advantage. So you see, first I'll be having um, four boxes down and three boxes uh, large. So what I'm going to do is this, you see? I'll bring those three boxes and then I'll place three more on top of each other. And two, then three, then one, two, three. And then a dimension was 290. So I just have to click on each box and you can see it's much faster than it used to now. So when you have to create several patterns, it's a neat trick. And then of course you add the final box. So let's do the same thing with this one. But this time it will be, yeah, 290. Sorry, 230. Turn it around, turn it around. And then the same thing. This time we'll be having five of them. Then a step of 230. No. Just like that. So we have our two patterns. We have our number of layers. We have our layer sequence, which is A, B, and A. So we cover the basics of the palletizer programming, but there's the setting window, settings window into which you can add a bit more um, customization. Uh, for instance, you can uh, tweak the speed and acceleration of the palletizer. Uh, this is where you select, you set your box presence input with your box detector. You can switch between palletizing and depalletizing, which is the same thing except for this, uh, this setting. And you can switch between metric and imperial, for instance. Final steps is just finish editing the node. We see that there are still parts in yellow, so grip and release parts. For us, we'll be using the robotic air picks, so uh, we'll just have to use the vacuum, the vacuum node here for grip in the grip section, but in the release, it will be vacuum enough, but vacuum release. And now we're ready to palletize.